see by looking at the dam uh, right now, there aren't many fish that could get across that structure because they'd have to be able to jump. It's essentially five, six feet, and there aren't too many species of fish in this part of the country, in prairie land, where they evolved pretty much in flat flowing streams, they didn't evolve to jump. Also, well, you put a structure in that they need to jump across. And you can see they're probably not gonna get across it. So during important times of year, like spring, when they're trying to make spawning migrations, fall too and they move back downstream, these things can actually become a real issue for them trying to migrate and uh, complete important parts of their life cycle. One thing we've seen out here is channel catfish alone, a real common species, they will disappear upstream of a dam even if you introduce them up there because they must turn around and make fall migrations back downstream. Then come spring they can't get back upstream. You take a dam out um, like we did in Appleton and channel catfish weren't present in the Pomitay River above Appleton for many many years. And within a year, we had high numbers of catfish moving up into that river, and now there's a real abundant population up there. So one of the biggest things with dams is the species that need to migrate often can't. During high flood events, maybe they can, maybe not. Velocities can still be very high across these structures, even when they're flooded out. Sometimes floods are during the cold spring, early part of the year, and fish aren't migrating yet. So even though they possibly could get across the dam, they won't. So a lot of the seasonal variability in the flow also affects fish. One thing we do know is, is um, our species diversity, the numbers of species, the kind of, the, our species diversity goes up above dams once we take the dam off. We see more fish, we see more kinds of fish, and uh, just an overall more healthy fish population by increasing that diversity.